Right, so uh, this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Moon and as well a Rising Weekly General Tower Reading February 24th to uh, March 1st, 2020 and uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can basically choose your reading and purchase it and upon purchase uh, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours uh, with the details how your reading is going to take place. So that set aside, uh, let's move to the general Gemini reading for the week. Now the first card which stands as a topic of your week guys is going to be the Four of Cups. Followed by the next one here, which represents the energies that are feeding and are supporting the topic itself. We do have the Ten of Cups. Followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you will have to and need to overcome here. That is to be the Five of Swords. Followed by the next one that represents the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be uh, the Magician card. The standing next, it is what kind of impression you're going to leave into people around and that will be the uh, Ace of Pentacles. And the last one, which is the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you here, that is to be the Ten of Pentacles. Now, very, very interesting one. All right. Um, I don't know where to start from even because um, this week it's um, it will matter a lot how you feel and are you happy with yourself that is going to be the most important question throughout this week that you need to answer to yourself is are you fulfilled in your family environment say or which you're standing into your relationship and career or do you need more okay because uh, there are two ways how we can look at those uh, two cards here and they correlate with each other in either of the ways very well. Now, first off, the energies are pointing that you are very likely to find yourself very happy and content with what you have at that particular point. Okay. While simultaneously those energies are poking and kind of thrusting your um, this a kind of trait of your human nature that regardless of how much you have you gotta go for more because life is about a constant improvement and it's about a constant progression and you can't progress if you stay at one place while at that particular time is a good thing to take your time to enjoy the blessings of your life and it's likely that you're gonna find that your life is blessed at all um, you can expect that a lot of things that you're planning here with those cards to simply happen and you will say I, I don't need anything else you know I just you know I'm completely content with my current situation and uh, that being said, uh, how can I say it? If you have been in a very rough spot up until now, it's highly likely that throughout this week, your life, either all of a sudden or uh, if you will, slowly progressing, is going to start increasing its worth. So it's going to start worth living again. You may find love, you know, you may uh, kind of like solve a very big problem into your career that uh, kind of like unlocks your future potential. Uh, you may, uh, how can I say it, you, you may stabilize your um, uh, financial environment, you may stabilize your family environment as well. In generally, those uh, energies are pointing that whatever your concerns are, they will basically going to be solved and it will feel like you're on the top of the world, right? Like you don't need anything else. And this is where the danger comes from. It's, it's where the manis is looming, right? Because the Four of Cups here point that you are in a place, you're going to find yourself in a place where are to be a lot of fruits to consume, being fruits of your labor, right? Uh, the, uh, the love that you are finding, the lucrivity that you're situating yourself around, uh, around and etc, etc. And this gives the prerequisite for you, Gemini, to impose limits, your self-imposed limits that are obstructing you for, from being even happier than that. And that's why the situation itself can be spent in two ways. One of the ways it is that you are kind of like full of everything around, you have completed your goal and there is no goal moving forward. Or 
you can kind of push your brain a little bit because the four of uh, cups requires a huge mental awareness here you need to push your brain a little bit to identify a new goal for yourself and that goal doesn't have to exclude the current benefits all right so say you find a, re a good relationship your new goal does not have to be a goal that this relationship does not take place it may be a goal where you make that relationship happier you know to improve on it or to change places in a sense of that reallocating in another place and etc etc so it's like this week gives you the prerequisite to stop having dreams it's because you wouldn't have the, ne the necessity to do so but it's highly vital for you to uh, uh, to have a future dreams because otherwise the life will become lethargy and it will be completely de deprived from excitement moving forward into the future and as well how can i say it it will quickly is going to uh, become very very boring and if you allow the situation to go to that place what you have achieved will lose its relevance it will lose its value for you so next one uh, no different than i want to give you an example here no different than uh, you are sending prayers to uh, be with a, a, a specific person okay and finally throughout this week you are finally with them i mean they are expressing their love to you and you finally forge a relationship and what happens after that you know you have sent your prayers and you said that you would never ask god for anything else but moving forward into the future something else kind of takes priority and you start asking for it it's just what we do right so uh it's uh, and if you allow the situation to become very very boring you will be completely disconcerned are you going to lose that relationship or not so pretty much it kind of renders your previous goal completely irrelevant and that is kind of like not something good for one's improvement uh next one is going to be the five of swords which is the challenge that you have to overcome throughout the week and that isn't much of a challenge okay it is just that card urges you to be very mindful about your um, about the tools and the how can I say it the way how you kind of like going to uh, enjoy the fruits of your labor, right? And uh, with the five of swords, it kind of points that uh, unintentionally you may hurt people around if you are not mindful about what kind of words you're going to say and about what kind of a uh, you know, how can i say it actions you're going to take it's very difficult to explain it but, but i want to give you an example here so say you have your dream job now throughout this week and you kind of like you are so excited and you are so kind of like full of of, of a vital energy and you do have a friend that it's not as fortunate as you are and it's kind of like you say a comment like you know everybody gets what they deserve so it seems like your friend it's it's full of shit and, and it, it doesn't deserve to be as good as you are and while you're not meant you you haven't meant to hurt them that thing hurts them so you have to be very mindful about what you say and how you act throughout this week and another warning here from the five of swords uh gemini it is that you should be very careful where you're placing your trust because the five of swords hide the menace and the danger that your trust may be misplaced meaning that you put a trust into someone or into something and it does not provide the um uh, the benefits from that trust being being placed there meaning that that person either is going to bail off a promise or that thing is going not is not going to turn out the way you have expected and etc etc so don't be way overconfident throughout the week uh next one here is going to be the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy and that is the magician fully correlating with the energies and with uh, the uh, topic itself so the magician here points that you are going to be blessed with uh, a field to play with and to be uh, and to pretty much express yourself just as a one is you don't have to kind of like follow any rules you don't have to um how do you say it um mind someone else's wishes and, and follow certain stipulations and etc etc here the magician uh, the card of the magician gives you the uh the opportunity and the blessing to do the things the way you want uh, the things you want 
the way you want to make them. Additionally to that, the magician, uh, the, the, the card of the magician gifts you with a very exceptional communication skills. So it is very likely that you are gonna get your points across here. And lastly, the, the gift of the magician is a lot of admirers and a lot of followers as well because for people for for other people you are the dream in a sense of that they want to be in your shoes they want to be uh next to you they want to be beside you and so on and so forth they want they craving for your attention etc etc and this is where you know you have that big uh, responsibility not to hurt their feelings not to hurt their emotions as well because if you do so a price needs to be paid moving forward into the future it Always comes with the five of swords all right the five of swords it's a very heavy card it points that yes you're gonna have your triumph what cost of though well that depends to be seen and the cost at the end it may be more than you know so that being said you have to be mindful what kind of a, a performance and what kind of words you are saying throughout the week uh, next one it is uh, what kind of impression are people are gonna see in you what, what kind of individual you're going to present yourself in front of other people and that is a very good card though especially if you are looking for job here guys the ace of pentacles points that you are the person they needed okay uh, so you go to an interview and you display what you can do you show your resume you show your uh your cv and they say that's our guy right they say this is exactly what we needed now to further our agenda and to further our goal but people are going to see you very happy in general people are going to see you very content and it's like people are going to see you determined or kind of like prone to have harmoniously flowing relationships around and as well a successful business endeavor so uh, whenever you decide not to take an initiative here whenever you decide not to associate yourself with this person or with that person or to take on this business endeavor uh, people are not going to judge you for it is because they will see in you how can i say it um, um the awareness that that thing ain't worth your time or it's not gonna have the uh, uh the interest and the benefits that you do deserve so they will say probably okay you know if you don't want to i'm gonna find someone else but the thing is that they're not going to adjudicate you for it and uh you have that luxury throughout the week, Gemini, to simply say no. So you should not be afraid to do so. As a matter of fact, if you can't, it's a very good time for you to learn doing it. And the last one that we do have, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles here points that you need to try and how can i say it uh, try and warm your environment what i mean it is that you need to strive for improving family relationships uh, uh, uh not career relationships as well but also what i was about to say is it's a uh, romantic relationships also try to be more generous try to be more sincere as well try to be more compassionate it was the word that i was searching for and also the ten of pentacles here urges you whenever you can go out of dependency of something you should do it meaning that if you have the money to return a loan you should do it so if you uh have if you no longer have the uh the prerequisites to be bound to your neighbor for something for example you should do it so as well it's kind of like becoming uh as independent as you can that is the guidance here that you should accomplish and the last one is that this card gives us a uh, how can i say it a, a hint here that someone that have betrayed you back in the days may kind of try to earn your trust once again and with the ten of pentacles they have learned their lesson and we are human right it is what we do we do mistakes or every day all day long and we deserve a second chance so it is entirely up to your not but the ten of pentacles here kind of like advises you to give them a, a second chance now that doesn't have to be an ex it, it could be a friend that disappointed you a lot and they just want to befriend you once again so uh, once again guys a uh it will worth your while to put them on their test and see if they are worthy for your trust or not so that being said gemini this was your a weekly general tarot reading february 24th to uh, march 1st 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys 
and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can uh, choose the service that suits you best and as soon as the purchase goes through I'm going to follow you up via email uh, in, within the next 24 hours that is um, how your with the with details excuse me how your reading is going to take place so uh, that being said hope we're going to see each other around and until then bye